Hi everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make a red lippy nail design ready for Valentine's. I hope it's not too early to be filming these, but I've got so many ideas this year that I decided to start as early as I possibly could. So basically straight after Christmas and get them going because I've got literally so many designs I've got so many stamping plates that I've been waiting the whole year to use and I'm just super super excited so I hope you guys love Valentine's because I'm about to shower you with a bunch of videos so we've got a um, couple of stamping um, plates that we're going to use later on so I'll show you guys uh, when the stamping part is going to happen but first I did show you three stamping polishes that we're going to use so we're going to use red, white and black so those are the only three colors when it comes to stamping and when it comes to gel polishes i have this very very cute pale uh pink from the cart and i am using a red from semilac today so if i'll switch it up today with the different companies that i've got in my drawers i just near the end of the year uploaded a video actually showing you guys all of my nail collections so if you're interested in that video i will leave it linked in the description but it actually opened up my eyes to how many designs, not designs, companies I've got and how many I am not using and they're just sat chilling in my drawers where they're actually pretty good companies and they deserve to be used as well on my channel. So I thought I'll switch it up today, use um, some McCart, some Semilac, it feels like forever since I last used them. So hopefully um, during these Valentine's videos you're going to see a bunch more new videos, um, sorry, bunch more new products companies and all sorts of different techniques and ideas and everything so yeah today's video for example we've got some really cool stamping we're going to do some lippies and um i really really like the crystal placement today it's giving jewelry on your nails so definitely wait around to the end of the video when we get to the crystal part so here I've got four nails that are fully pink, one nail that's fully red and we are now sprinkling on some red glitter on top of a wet layer of the red gel polish and that's going to work as our glue, we're going to sprinkle it on, make a sugared nail and then pop it into the lamp. So we're on our first stage of stamping, I've really sped up this part because I was taking my sweet time and I was fiddling around, it was just something about filming today that just wasn't working, the colour on this video is very pale, I don't know, I just wasn't i just could not get it right today so i'm so sorry but first plate is from moe london and it's called love is collection and for this one i really really like the full cover hearts but of course the full cover hearts are going to be too small to cover my big stiletto nails so we are going to have to double stamp it and to double stamp you need to make sure you remove any of the hearts that are kind of cut off near the end because if you have it cut off and then you stamp it again you'll be able to see obviously that you've kind of you know stamped it twice um, if you're not very good at that, then um, you can go ahead and stamp them next to each other and then where the two images connect, just whack some crystals there, cover it up or do something there to cover it up and that way you won't have that harsh line where the two meet and you should be good to go. I have done, I think, a video before where I, I was really struggling to get the design to connect again so I did just whack some crystals down the centre and we were good to go. Um, so there we go, we've got our first nail done and the hearts there that have got kind of like an outline of a heart, I feel like I wanted to colour them in with black just because later on we've got some more black involved and I thought it would be a nice way to get a bit more black in there, make it all kind of work better together because otherwise I feel like this design, I don't know, felt a bit... Mm, I wouldn't say boring but I don't know I just felt like once I added the black it definitely fitted in way better with the rest of the design I don't know why though in the moment you will see that the black is kind of like pulling in I don't know whether it's because I'm applying it on top of some stamping polish but here on the heart it was kind of pulling away from where I've actually placed it that was a little bit frustrating but I'm just coloring in the ones that just have the outline and then popping it into the lamp now we are going to work on a nail that we've got two of but we are going to stamp two different faces, um, well not faces, lips at the top of the nail. So here you want to pretend like you're doing a smile line but flip it around and then colour in that bottom part of the nail. So here I did it this way but actually off camera I end up putting the line a little bit higher just because the lips aren't that large so I felt like if I left it how it is there's going to be there's going to be too much space left and I wanted it to be a bit more compact up there so I do bring it up a little bit higher but I do that off camera because I noticed it just before popping it into the lamp and we are going to have two of those nails so make sure you do it on the other one too and here is our lippies so this is a plate from CGS so CGS is clear jelly stamper 
I've got a couple of their plates. I don't think they're that easy to get in the UK. Um, so that's why I don't have that many. But the couple that I do have, I do love a lot. And I'm really happy that I get to use this plate today. I don't think I've used it on the channel before. So here, um, I am going to, there's three lips, but I am going to pick up only two today. So one of them, it looks like the lips are blowing a kiss. And the other one is kind of showing some teeth. And that one was a little bit harder to stamp. Clear Jelly Stamper are very known for their layered stamping. So that's exactly what we've got going on today, which can be a little bit tricky. I prefer reverse stamping. That means where you pick up an outline of the lips, for example, and then you color it in on your script on your stamper. Sorry, so that I could have done that because I do have the outline of lips, but I wanted to really try and use the plate how it comes and how you're supposed to use it. So I've given it a go. So the the one kissing, um, like blowing a kiss was much easier, but trying to align the white part now with the actual lips was painful <laughs> so that was a bit tricky and then of course the third face that you could have used was the one with the lolly but I just felt like it was too much and it was much larger and it just wasn't what I was going for so I didn't use it although um it would have been really really cute as well so here I'm just going to show you me apply the outline of one of them the other one I ended up not including because I actually ended up stamping the white wrong and I had to redo the whole lips that's why it's missing today from the footage but it's you know I just repeated everything I did here it is it's still not perfect <laughs> but it was way better than I had it before the white was completely out of place when I start uh, stamping the black outline of the lips which is what the problem is really with layered stamping. You really need to practice and get it perfect and learn how to align things and it's a bit of a process, but once you get it sorted, you, you really, really enjoy it. I'm sure it's so fun stamping. So now that we've got our faces or lips, I don't know why I keep calling them faces, uh, stamped, I decided to go in with some dots, some black dots, and I am just kind of going all around the lips. I'm kind of following a pattern, so I'm doing a line of dots first. And then the line next to it, I'm placing the dots in between the first line of dots, if that makes sense. <laughs> I hope the video is kind of explaining what I'm doing. So you want to do it on the other nail as well and then pop them into the lamps. So that should be, I believe, the end of our nail art. We now have that beautiful crystal placement to do in just a second. And then we can top coat these. Today I decided to go for a glossy top coat, which I'm little bit upset about because I wish they were matte I really really do I feel like these would look absolutely stunning matte the stamping would stand out so much more the crystals would stand out so much more but unfortunately I'm kind of out of my matte top coat a little bit so I had to use what I have <laughs> I'm currently waiting on an order to come through but they're still very pretty but you all know I love my matte and I'm trying to stay away from matte to be honest so maybe it is a good thing I glossy top coated it but deep down I really wish I did it Matt um there we go so it's all cured time for our crystal placement I really sped this a bit up as well just because it's a little bit competitive uh, repetitive and um once again I was taking my sweet time so I'm placing this circle AB crystal in the center then I've got these silvery charmy I don't know, I never know what you call these. They're not really rhinestones because they're not really crystals or anything. But these little shapes that I got on AliExpress a very long while back. And I'm placing three at the top, three at the bottom, and then finishing it off with one little tiny EB on each side. Once that's done, I'm going to grab my caviar beads and we're going to do a lot of work with those. So I am going to place the caviar beads in between each crystal slice silver little thing that we've got going on. And then we are also going to cover up the whole space around that AB on both sides. So you're going to see me do that now. And I am using my rhinestone glue gel from McCart. That's the one I'm using. Um, the packaging that I've got it in though is different. I depotted it into a little container. Originally it does come in a squeezy tube. But often they break. So if you do have one of these like black containers and you're about to throw it away, please don't if you're going to grab the Macarthur Rundstein glue gel. I've only ever had two, but both broke. So I feel like it's a common thing. And I have seen others on YouTube complain about it breaking. So I think it is a thing, but it's absolutely amazing. So even though it breaks, you know, there's... I found myself a new method of storing it and I will be buying again because it's just amazing. And it's super uh, good and, you know... It's also quite affordable, so win-win, to be honest, other than the packaging. <laughs> so I'm just finishing up the cover beads now, and then it will go into the lamp. And lastly, for this nail, and of course the other one, but I just do the one on camera, I decided to follow the red line where it connects with the pink. 
and I'm going to place ABs and with the ABs I decided to use only one shape so I went and searched for one of the more smaller sizes and I'm just following the line and covering it all up so if you didn't want to do um rhinestones you could do like dots or just kind of go over it maybe with a black line and just kind of go over it just to give it that little border anything you want really i know not everybody's into crystals i love crystals it, lit it literally feels like jewelry on my fingers and i love it and i love things that sparkle but i know um people like my mum, for example she does not like crystals on her fingers she feels like it's she's constantly catching things with them so there's all sorts of uh, alternatives to crystals um uh, placements and stuff like that so here it is all good i'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other nail and it's done over here and now it's time to top coat so i am using a glossy today like i mentioned earlier and i'm using a nail nails glossy top coats and i left a fair bit i did fast track this bit again but i left quite a bit of it because i just felt like the nails look so beautiful and i kind of just wanted to look at them whilst they're being top coated especially that crystal that pinky crystal nail i just felt like in person it looks absolutely stunning and just like straight jewelry um, straight jewelry so I'm gonna, my attempt to recreate this set on more wearable actual you know wearable press on nail sizes and shapes and everything because um, it's just so beautiful I would love to rock these for valentine's um, if you of course if you don't have a stamping plate like mine today I know that there are, there are stickers with lippies like this so if you can get a hold of them definitely do here are the final results I hope you guys liked it in a sec I'll show you guys the exact same set but I also did hearts down the red part of those lip nails um as like a alternative if you wanted to make them extra extra but in the video i decided not to do them just because i didn't know whether or not they actually make that much of a difference and i didn't even know if you could see them properly so here it is in case you wanted it and you feel like the other one was a bit too boring for you <laughs> i hope you guys liked the video if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'd love to see you all in my next video bye guys